So this is end of November, right? Yeah. So oh, was that yes. Right? Sure. right, okay, so what I recommend is, what I can tell you from my experience is that there is another side to all this, like nightmare, BS, like IB, you know, <laughs> chaos. It, there is, there's a whole other side to it. You're not indoctrinated for your whole life. You are, there is another side and you will make it out of it. I remember one time we were on TOK and we wanted to write an essay and like some people were crying. <laughs> we were like, we were just like, just in this like emotional turmoil. We said, oh God, we're never going to make it. It's going to be really difficult. And there's no, even we're going to fail our exams. We're going to have to repeat the year. Oh, that's true. Like really, like you guys, if you guys are still in IB and especially the second part of IB2, you guys are going to at least pass your exams, if not really well. So uh, we, hard work. yeah, hard we didn't we didn't think much of ourselves in IB two. Like we really do, we're, we're very like pessimistic about our grades and what we're gonna get. And, but there is another side to it. Like you guys, I know you guys have a lot of work. Like I experienced it as well. So I can tell you that there's a whole other beautiful side. <laughs> next, next to all. Yeah. So there's another side. Looking at it from a more positive light. What are some things that you've learned during your valuable time at Hermitage that, <laughs> I'm serious, folks, yeah. that um, you will miss it when you leave, um, that you are taking with you, that you have taken with you to university and, and, and that you feel make you um, different or that have made you, um, that really help you as a student today at your university? Is there anything you feel you learned here that you are applying in your life today that is helping you today? Yeah, it's mostly like the classes I took here. So history really helped me because I, history is a really big part of what I do because I have to understand why people behave in certain ways and why governments run in certain ways, why some governments are authoritarian, why there's some are democracies. That's a lot about history. History also taught me how to write papers. Writing papers is an essential part of college. You cannot survive, because I write about it recently. I write an IA about a week, every week, okay? I write the equivalent of an IA every week, meaning I have to cite my sources, I have to have it read, reread, and reread by the TA, the, the professor even, I have to hassle for <coughs> weeks to read. So you have to, what I learned from this school is how to write papers, how to analyze certain texts in history. I definitely want to do that. Um, and it taught me this school because it was because you know IBM has a lot of work. It teaches you how to manage your time better. I'm not saying you guys are like brilliant at time management because I wasn't either, and none of my IB two classmates worked. So maybe Lily, really. but like <laughs> I really was good at that, but like no one else was. But it does IB did teach me how to organize my work schedule and how to like manage everything within like the time frame and the the deadline. So writing papers, analyzing text, and um, managing deadlines. Those three things really did help me. So do you think that having taken the IB program is like a sort of advantage to oh, get yeah. into uni? And oh yeah. Is there a lot of IB students? Like, yeah, we all get to come. Yeah, we all complain about it. <laughs> it's in, I told, my school is 36% international, so we have 36% international kids just in our grade. And um, so we all get to like complain, collect like, oh god, what class did you take? Oh, it was horrible. So they, huh? <laughs> Okay. So like yeah, there are a lot of international kids. A lot of people did IB, and IB really does help you. Um, like it really did help me like with uni classes because the kids that did the AP or like, the American system or didn't even do AP exams, they're struggling a lot. <laughs> oh my God, true. <laughs> I, you guys may be struggling. You guys may be think, like IB is really hard, and it is true. It is hard, but trust me, it is a blessing in disguise. Speaking as someone who is now not like swimming in like freedom, but like someone who's like managing and someone who's still interested in what he's doing without being overwhelmed with the work, I can tell you that IB is a big bonus to like your studies. So he, I know it's hard to be thankful that you've that been through it. So, not saying that you chose to do it, but at least be thankful that you've been through it. So yeah, it definitely did help me. And a lot of IB kids in my school kind of uh, like, if we look at the, the AP kids and we're just like, come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, we had to write a research paper every week. 